Meantime, Minister of Public Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, says he wishes former Bahamian Contractors Association President Leonard Sands all the best following his abrupt resignation on Sunday. Minister Bannister, however, says the resignation caught him by surprise, adding that he was saddened by the way Sands framed his resignation letter. Minister Bannister says Sands was elected by and responsible solely to his members and the Ministry of Public Works has no involvement with him outside of his role as Minister of Public Works where law permits him to appoint the contractor's registrar. He also defended the appointment of Omar Archer as contractor's registrar. Mr. Archer uh, has come into that position having had uh, tremendous amount of experience in the construction industry and uh, highly not quite knowledgeable knowledgeable about the industry and about what he's required to do as registrar as, as registrar he's not there to to be another contractor he's there to carry out certain uh, administrative functions in relation to the association and uh, he has done uh, quite well so far in, in dealing with that job. And so the, it was surprising to see that statement. The Minister of Public Works says he was further disappointed about Sands' remarks about him and claims he had not received answers from him with regard to the appointment of a statutory board. Minister Bannister says that is false, adding that Sands had a duty under the Construction Contractors Act to appoint several persons to the board. The first time he tried to do it, I had to show him what the provisions of the Act say in relation to that position. Um, and then he provided names. Um, two of those persons could not serve. One is a public officer uh, whose uh, superiors did not allow that person to serve. The second one was serving on another board. And uh, Mr. Sands' duty was to appoint two other people. Um, and we've not gotten that information from him yet. The minister appoints, I think, the director to the board and maybe two other persons. The other appointments are done by the president of the Contractors Association. Uh, and so we look forward to whoever the new president is and making the appointments.